afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Board of County Commissioners public comment section of uh, today's event. So, with that, uh, do we, uh, we have a quorum. Do we need to do a roll call, Madam Attorney? Yes. She says yes. Commissioner Barnett. Here. Commissioner Baxter. Here. Commissioner Bernard. Here. Vice Mayor Marino. Here. Mayor Sachs. Here. Commissioner Weiss. Here. Commissioner Woodward. Here. Thank you. All right. Let the record reflect we have a quorum. We're going to proceed with the public, uh, public comment. And I believe we have cards that have been submitted to Commissioner Weiss. Vice Mayor Marino will be doing the time. Everyone will have three minutes of respectful speech. And Commissioner Weiss, are we ready to begin? You ready, Vice Mayor? Let's see if the clock is. Okay. All right. Start your engines. All right. We have uh, Matthew Actus, followed by Aaron Actus. Okay. Matthew on this side, Aaron on that side. Do we have anybody else? Commissioner? Uh, we have Mary Kelly. Hold on just one sec. We have one speaker here and one speaker over here. Okay, ma'am, did you want to participate? Okay, would you? Just taking a picture. He's okay. He's okay? Why don't you stand behind him? Okay. I just want to make sure that you think that he's okay. I'll run right over before you No, no, no. Please don't run. Please don't run. Take your time. We're here for you. Okay, who's the other speaker? Uh, Mary Kelly, followed by Mary. Fry. Okay, is Mary Kelly here? Okay, ma'am. Okay, you're ready. All right, and the fourth? That's it. All right, very good. Go ahead, sir. You're recognized. Hi, thank you for letting me be here. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm here to talk about homeschooling, as you all my comment card. I, um, and thank you for approving my homeschool site because it's really good. So on, on the homeschool thing, um, it do, at least it's not as bad as like the school I went to last time because there was really not the best education and not the best language there. They weren't talking nice to each other. And in this school, um, it's not live, but it's, it's like a video you can pause and stuff. Mm. I really like it, so thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Are you a Boston Red Sox fan? Yeah, I am. I figured that. <laughs> All right, Mom, state your name, and you will be recognized. Good, thank you for the bright lights. Um, thank, my name is Erin Actis. I'm a resident of Jupiter, Florida. Um, I can't believe it's September already, uh, so I'm back here doing some housekeeping. Um, I don't know if you know, but I just read an article that has confirmed that there are over 3,000 children missing from our wide open border. Um, what are we doing in Palm Beach County to stop this? Well, right now, over our election, um, as you know, we have issues. We, we are still having problems with um, maintaining exposure for the public and having oversight. Ballots are being processed and duplicated without canvassing board oversight. Designee election material inspections are denied reasonable access. Blank ballots, overvotes, vulnerable populations, overseas military neocava are not being oversought. Department of Homeland Security will be investigating the VR system shutdown that took place between 7 and 7, 10, 15 on August 20th. The COO, Ben Martin, of the VR system has confirmed that this is their responsibility, and it did take place among over 50 counties in Florida. It actually shut down. Um, we are requesting an audit for unity between the Florida Supervisor of Elections and the people of every county for confidence. The provisional ballots were allowed in Palm Beach County illegal citizens to cast a vote. Please follow up on those that were reported to Election Crimes Division in Tallahassee. 
voter registrations, invalid signatures, 17,000 in Palm Beach County. An investigation has started as of September 4th. We are requesting no budget if there is no audit. We have many issues at hand. Those are just a handful. The supervisor elections pledge will deliver transparent and valid elections and our supervisor refused to sign it. Again, our grand jury will redress our grievances in regarding 101, Florida Statute 101.4.43 and 104.42 and 905.33. Supervisor Wink at Link added two early voting sites and received zero votes this election. This is a frivolous waste of tax money. This is just more icing on the cake and why the resolution that was presented to you a few months ago is so critical. Polk County accepted it on September 3rd and passed the resolution. I'm requesting you again, if you need a copy, I have it, but I do not work for any organization, but um, this resolution is very important. It may not be perfect, but we can work on it and we can get to an ordinance where we can all be satisfied. Um, apparently their commissioner said that this was a timely uh, resolution and they appreciated it. So thank you. Thank I hope you, you can vote much. on this today. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your Mary opinion. Kelly. Good afternoon, commissioners. I'm Mary Kelly. Um, I will try to make my point and convey my questions in a limited time of three minutes, which is very restrictive on my free speech. Item number one, August the 20th, election night, we all witnessed the glitch failure of the BR system. Commissioner Weiss, what is the SOE and the governor, what are their plans to pre prevent the next failure hopefully not during the general election of President of the United States, which is the most important election of our lifetime. Item number two. Uh, on the 22nd, during a scheduled canvassing board meeting with public viewing, it was noted that the uh, normal public comment box in the commission in the public viewing room was missing and we ask about that because it's usually there and we write our comments because if you asked uh, you know they consider questions being disruptive during their canvassing so we were told it was coming the comment that box is coming well it never came and when we asked they said Oh, no comment from the uh, public today. So we were waiting and we were told, no, you can't have it, which is, was very upsetting. <laughs> Why didn't they tell us that at the beginning? Um, item number three. Uh, at the same board meeting, uh, there was 50 provisional ballots that were canvassed and it was hard to hear inside the cavity board uh, because of all the paper shuffling it's very hard to follow what goes on in there but to the best of my knowledge what I heard was that um, there were three to four illegals ballots that were cast and they ended up in they were provisional ballots and they were non-citizens and um, Commissioner Weiss you made a comment how did this happen you couldn't understand how this could happen and uh, Secretary um, winked explained to you how it might happen and uh, you didn't seem too happy with that <laughs> but you said that you were uh, that the system needed to be changed and you were gonna to try to get to the bottom of it. Thank you very much for those comments. Thank you. Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you. Mary Fry. Okay, no. No, okay. I, I wasn't sure if they were, if they had submitted a card. Hi. Okay, um, go right ahead, ma'am. You're recognized. Oh, thank you so much. Um, well, I'm here today. I'm unprepared. Um, so it's just, it's everything that I has, 
actually been building up since the 2022 election where um, I, I went to go an early vote and there were only express machines at early, certain early voting precincts. I just want to know, I want to understand why and how this benefits Palm Beach County. Um, we just had a primary election and I looked on my sample ballot and it's the same thing where it is not um, indicating that early voting precincts, you will, not, you will not have the ability to get the same paper ballot that you get from the express machine. Um, I just, I don't understand how there can be a true paper trail if we have these different types of paper that's being used at the supervisor of election. And thank you so much for listening to me today. I just, I'm, I'm not asking this because I wanna give anyone a hard time. I love living in Palm Beach County. Um, I, great people live here and I just want everyone to feel comfortable with our election system. Um, so if, I, my comment is, is there any way to reach our supervisor, because I've tried to talk to her and she denies that this is happening, but is there any way that we can reach the supervisor and um, she could just speak to the public and let us know um, honestly, through transparency, why certain precincts are only an express machine and only during early voting and on election day, you're given a paper ballot. Um, so thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. Everyone listen to me. Thank you. Thank you very much for your opinion. All right, and we have one uh, public comment that came in via electronically. Uh, this is from Linda Smith. Sorry, I cannot attend today's matters by the public. Feel free to read into the record. I would like to thank you for your August 27th letter to Secretary Sean Hamilton regarding opposition to amending the Jonathan Dickinson State Park Unit Management Plan, Governor DeSantis's Great Outdoors Initiative to increase public access, recreation, and lodging at Florida State Parks. Amendment was fatally flawed. I am proud that Palm Beach County manages and maintains over 23,000 acres of natural areas within the watershed of the Loxahatchee River watershed and a total of more than 31,000 acres throughout the county. I'm also proud and pleased Palm Beach County operates and maintains over 8,000 acres for 110 parks and recreational facilities, including a therapeutic recreation complex offering wheelchair sports, aquatic sailing, and Special Olympics training. Palm Beach County has over 150 public and private golf courses and over 900 hotels. We need to preserve protect, and protect land for Palm Beach County's vulnerable plants and animals ensuring future generations of residents will have an opportunity to experience them in the natural environment. Thank you for helping hold the line and on an increased public access, recreation, and lodging at Florida State Parks. Okay. Nice, thank you. And we have, I believe, one more. Okay, this will be Jane Justice. Take your time, take your time, it's okay. It's all right. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Thank you for letting me speak. I, 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 uh, I've had a little bit of a hectic time here. But uh, yeah, my name is Jane Justice, and the reason why I'm here is because uh, we have heard, you know, quite a few, for quite a few years now, testimony about the election. And uh, tonight we have a debate going on, and um, one side is going to be repeating a lot of things that have nothing to do with America. And I, I learned that this is a constitutional office. The commissioners, you, you have a big duty to the people. The state is supposed to protect the people from the federal government. And you are our last line here with the sheriff. And uh, I have um, a couple of counties, Flagler and Collier have passed uh, they've actually passed an ordinance to protect the Constitution, to protect uh, a sanctuary for the Constitution and for the Bill of Rights. And uh, we've seen a lot of um, assaults on the people, on our freedoms, on everything. We have no border on this country. 
we have things happening in this country that if, unless you go out of your way to find out, you're not gonna know. And, and, and we're, we're, we're particularly out of time. I was looking for a scripture in here and I, I just, I only had seconds to get here. But I suggest you all have the Epic Times delivered. It comes out once a week. Everything that's going on here is not in a bubble away from the rest of the country. Our country is in the biggest turmoil. Um, is, I don't think it's funny though, do you? <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. I don't know what, at what point we're going to, to get uh, serious about what's happening because when a few patriots are missing from here, who is going to speak? Who is going to speak for us? We need you. Do you know that illegal aliens are signing up all over and we've, we've seen them at Walmart on Forest Hill. I caught them several times at the, at the uh, Ann Gannon's tax office. And I can't explain, maybe you can explain to me, why the supervisor of election is working in concert with the tax collector to sign up as many illegals as possible. Can you tell me why that would go on? Listen, when people don't speak our language and they don't know, they don't even know their neighbors, can you please tell me if we don't know who to vote for, how they're gonna know? We are in big trouble and I'm asking you to do one favor. We started this a couple years ago. We wanted to get a resolution passed. I had time to print a few of these ordinances. All it is is an ordinance to protect our constitutional rights. And I would like to meet with some of you, or all of you, and discuss this. And I can bring somebody more qualified in to speak. We can put all the proof up. But anyway, I have a few copies here. Would you make sure that everybody gets a copy? Absolutely. Ma'am, you could give it county to the attorney, gentleman. The Bill of Rights, the Constitution. Sure. Don't give it to the county attorney. She's She's too expensive. Okay, would you you give it to this sure everybody gets it, and I give will look to forward chairman. to meeting you, okay? We Thank you for taking me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank That's you. it. Commissioner Weiss, do we have any other cards? That's it. Okay, very good. All right. Um, any, uh, my colleagues have anything to say before we break? Very good. All right. We will come back again at 5.05. Adjourn now. We adjourn for today, and we will... We will <clears throat> re not reconvene. We will convene, convene. So good to have Commissioner Weiss next. Convene at 5:05 p.m. See you there. Right.